Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast with a review for the movie Air 2023. This movie is rated R with a runtime of an hour and 52 minutes. As of the recording of this video, we have a Rotten Tomato score of 99% for both critics and the audience, which is very exciting and I definitely agree with them. Uh, from award-winning director Ben Affleck, Air reveals the unbelievable game-changing partnership between a then-rookie Michael Jordan and Nike's, Nike's fledging basketball division, which revolutionized the world of sports and contemporary culture with Air Jordan brand. This moving story follows the career-defining gamble of an unconventional team with everything on the line, the uncompromising vision of a mother who knows the worth of her son's immense talent, and the basketball phenom who would become the greatest of all time. This movie, as I mentioned, is directed by Ben Affleck, written by Alex Coventry, uh, and it stars Matt Damon as Sonny Vaccaro, Jason Bateman as Rob Strasser, Ben Affleck as Phil Knight, Chris Messina as David Falk, Viola Davis as Dolores Jordan, uh, who is Michael Jordan's mom, and Chris Tucker as Howard White. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the film. So I got to go to the, there was like an early preview uh, on, on the weekend before this opens. Uh, so I wanted to check it out because this, this week also opens with uh, the Super Mario movie. So I knew I was going to be busy. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. This is one of those films that, um, I don't know, just there's something about them that really makes you, you want to see a story of a triumph. Obviously, we know how things turned out. I'm a big, I'm not a big sneakerhead, but I do like nice shoes. I, I have had a pair of Jordans in the past. Uh, so like, I know that eventually things happen, you know, the way they happen. Uh, but it's really about how we got there. And, and I think Ben Affleck and the team do a really great job endearing the audience to these characters, uh, by getting some really charismatic actors, like, you know, like from everyone I just named, plus so many more, uh, but the story really centers around these six characters, um, it's really incredible how in such a short period of time you you want to root for these guys. They are saying that Nike is an underdog sounds ridiculous, but I guess that that's the way things were at that time. Uh, you know, with Converse and Adidas kind of dominating the basketball scene. Uh, like right now, I think of I don't think of Converse as <laughs> as basketball shoes. Uh, so it's really really interesting to go back. Uh, speaking of the 80s, uh, I love the sets, the costuming, everything that's done to really immerse the audience into that decade uh, where, where we are, the music, just all the little things, very little touches um, that make you, you know, kind of take you back. If you were uh, born in the 80s, early 90s, then you kind of recognize some stuff and you'll be, it really makes you kind of feel like like you're back in that time, uh, which is really great. Uh once again, just the fact that Matt Damon plays this character who who just has such passion for what he's doing uh, and everyone around him. I think a really fun performance too. Ben Affleck as Phil Knight, uh, who has his own little quirks. If you know, he's you know, he's the founder of uh, Nike, so like and was CEO at the time. But he's a quirky character, uh, because you I think you kinda have to be to go out on a limb like that. Uh, I'm sure there's been other movies about about that stuff, but this one really like I just really find Ben Affleck's performance really cool. Uh, he has he brings a a very interesting perspective to this character, um, and also of course I got to credit Viola Davis as Dolores Jordan. I mean, she's the matriarch of the Jordan family, and and I think at the time she was the main person that was hand like even up to his you know his retirement or maybe Hall of Fame speech. Michael Jordan mentioned how important his mother was um, all throughout his career, throughout the ups and downs and has been. Uh, so really, really great to see uh, Viola Davis play this character, which I saw in an interview, uh, Ben Affleck said, as he talked to Michael Jordan, uh, one of the things that he talked about was like, you have to get Viola Davis to play my mom. Um, and I'm glad that it happened because Viola Davis is an amazing, amazing performer. Uh, also really cool to see Chris Tucker in this. Uh, I don't know much about the character of Howard White or really any of these other characters other than uh, Dolores and, and Phil Knight. Um, but yeah, he's fantastic. He 
he has evolved so much in his performances, uh, you know, from a comedic actor to just somebody that can really portray a character from this time. And he's still pretty funny. Like the character he's portraying is still kind of a, a bit of a goofball. Everyone that works at, at Nike at the time, um, you know, not only because of the time they were in, but uh, but just kind of like who they were and the people that chose to work in that in Oregon at the time. Uh, really interesting. Uh, I think also the movie does something very smart, which is you streamline all these true events that happen to really add the the emotion and the drama to the story. Right? Um, at any at no point in the film did I think that the deal was not going to get done, but it was so interesting to see how we got there. Um, so yeah, it was just a very compelling story, uh, and I just overall really enjoyed it. I like. It gave me a lot of similar vibes to when I was watching Ford versus Ferrari, and I think a lot of people call this like a like a dad movie. Um, but I've always been fond of those kind of movies, so very excited for that. Maybe I should put together a list of uh, my favorite, you know, quote unquote dad movies. Uh, so really interesting stuff. But I'm sure I'm gonna watch this. This is one of those movies that I'll rewatch anytime it's on cable. Like I'll just leave it on. Because that's kind of what happens with those types of movies for me. Like, I just really enjoy seeing them uh, over and over. Especially, like I said, when it's kind of based on true events. And I already kind of know how things are going. Uh, and it's such a recognizable thing, you know, with Nike. Uh, so, it just really brought everything. Like, a lot of things that I'm really kind of interested in. A lot of actors. I'm a big fan of Ben Affleck, both in front and behind the camera. Uh, I love Argo and The Town, which are just two fantastic films that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, and, you know, like I said, Matt Damon, Jason Bateman, uh, Chris Messina, uh, he's he's David Falk, who was Michael Jordan's agent at the time, also just delivers. He, you don't see much of as much of him, but when he's on the scene, uh, he's so, so very well, like, so extra about everything that he's doing. Uh, great performance. You can definitely tell um, he's an agent. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, Viola Davis and Chris Tucker. Wow. Just what a, what a phenomenal cast. Uh, so... Very excited for this. Uh, so let me know what you think about this movie down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reaction, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.